Hello and welcome to episode 24 of the Just Flying series. I've got some fairly big news to tell you about this time. Uh, let's try and get airborne first. Although with this Spitfire and gobber off the runway. Uh, okay, we're up. Um, yeah, it's never been the easiest thing for me with this plane. Um, yeah, but, but we're airborne. Um, like, yeah, we're going from Picton to Wellington today. And as crossing the Tasman is a bigger distance than usual for these just flying videos, I thought this Spitfire might be a good aircraft as I can push the throttles forward and it's fast enough to get there in a fairly short amount of time. What happens when we do get there, that might be another matter, as my landings in the Spitfire don't always go quite according to plan, so place your bets now on whether we survive or not. Yeah, honestly it's going to be a 50-50. So, to the big news then, I'm currently working on a new scenery for a nice little airstrip close to the town of Te Awamutu, which is just south of Hamilton on North Island. Oh, it's looking good, and nearly finished it, so by the weekend or maybe even sooner, I should hopefully be uploading that at the Org Forum. And when I do, that will be my final airport for X-Plane 11. Uh, don't worry, as I've said before, I will be getting X-Plane 12, and unless something major happens, then I will still be here and making scenery for that, so if you enjoy my stuff, then it's not my full retirement from the flights in world, uh, just the end of my run with X-Plane 11. Now, there are rumours that the public beta of 12 might be available fairly soon, but even if it's not, I'm going to give up now, as that means I get a little break before I need to start again with some fairly major work of changing all my old scenery to make use of some of the new toys which are promised like the vegetation and puddles on tarmac and all that kind of thing. Uh, until I can get a copy of the X-Plane 12 Beta I don't know exactly how easy or hard that is going to be to upgrade everything but as I've made a lot of airfields it's obviously going to be quite a lot of work, as I'll need to go and check every one of them, and then change things as necessary. So, until I have to start on that, this new airfield, Tower Mutu, I thought it's quite a good fun place, and that would be a nice way to bow out and say goodbye to Eleven. I then get to put my feet up for a few days, weeks, or whatever it turns out to be before I start again with 12. So as we have got to that point with 11, or will do when I release this Te Awamutu scenery, uh, let me say it's been a lot of fun, I've enjoyed doing all this scenery. Uh, because of it, I've also got to speak to some really nice people, made some friends, and that's been a lovely bonus to it all. So, to everyone who has supported me, helped me, sent me biscuits, or even just watched these videos, it is much appreciated. And long may it continue through Explain 12, 13, 14, and beyond. As for the new version of the sim, by the way, when we finally can get a copy of the X-Plane 12 Beta, I will start work on my old scenery and updating them, but while 12 is in Beta, I won't release anything. 
So we'll have to wait for the full final release of the new sim, whenever that may be, until I start doing things at the org forum again. However, I will still be making videos, uh, probably at least one a week if not more, and I'll keep you up to date of how things are going in those. So if you keep an eye on this YouTube channel, then I'll let you see the progress. And as a little present for watching, I might even stick one or two things in my mega folder and give you a link to those so that you can test them out too. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that as there's no point in making too many plans yet when we don't know exactly what Explain 12 has to offer or what I'm going to need to do to make things compatible with it. Well, I'll let you know in the videos. So that's the news then. One final Explain 11 scenery to come in a few days and then that will be the end of things for this sim and my airport contributions to it. And of course having a small break from it all will also give me some time to stock up on some new bad jokes for my preview videos. Because I know the majority of my audience have nothing to do with flight sims and are only here for my total comedy genius. Uh, yeah. Welcome to North Island. Anyway, I had a nice few days away recently with a few friends. Um, there are five of us who have been really good mates for a lot of years. Um, one of the guys moved over to Spain, I uh, don't know, maybe 15, 20 years ago. Uh, he's very happy there and even took Spanish citizenship a couple of years ago. And that used to be a regular thing where two or three times a year I'd go over to see him. I'll get on really well with his wife too, so that's great. Stop at their house. And if you've seen my org profile pic with the dog, that's actually their boxer dog, Daisy. Uh, sadly, Daisy did pass away, but I've got some lovely memories of my four-legged playmate, so I didn't want to change the picture just yet. Uh, maybe one day, but we'll see. So that was quite a regular thing, uh, going over to see them, but then Covid stopped all travel. Um, this trip was actually my first time on a plane since the whole virus thing began. Uh, it was nice to get back over there, and the other guys came as well for the first few days. So it was three nights of... Um, all out having a bit of yacht having a bit of fun and a few very nice drinking establishments and then the other three lads went back but I stayed an extra few days as me and the guy in Spain both play golf so I'd taken my clubs with me and the extra few days were then us going out to a couple of courses and knocking a little white ball around and occasionally knocking it in the right direction too because it hadn't been about three years since I played and it showed yet yeah, nobody on the PGA Tour needs to be worrying about me just yet so here we are at Wellington then where I have been slowly upgrading things each month and hopefully you all read my monthly PDF which I upload in the mega folder so you'll know that already. I'm not sure what will happen with the upgrading when Explain 12 does arrive but if I do add a new version of it then I'll let you know in these YouTube videos. See how the landing goes. I'm feeling quite hopeful today. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with um, 
I'm not necessarily going to say we'll stop on the runway. But yeah, I'm going to go with yeah, a landing with the right way up. We will be able to use the plane again. Crap, that was a big bounce. And another one. Slightly less confident about how things are going to go. Oh no, we're down. Sort of. No, no, crap. Jesus Christ. A, a bit overzealous with the brakes there. There are some propeller manufacturers in New Zealand who love me. Um, time for a new one. Yeah, that was quite a big bounce, wasn't it? That should have been power on and go around at that point, but we're, we're, we're down. And then, yeah. Um, the, the, we're, we're on the runway, and it's a three-point landing. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, three points touching the ground. So, um, yeah, okay, I may have just shot down an entire airport for an hour while they clean up the wreckage. But apart from that, I, I, I'm going to say things went quite well. Um, yeah, uh, look, until next time then, which will be this new Tower Mutu preview thing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. Um, bye.